Hello friends, today we are going to discuss problem based on main dimensions of induction motor. First, we will read the statement of the problem and write given data. Find the main dimensions, that is main dimensions are D and L diameter and length of stator core of 15 kilowatt, that is P out, output power is given 15 kilowatt, 3 phase 400 volt voltage 400 volt is given 50 hertz frequency 2810 rpm that is f is equal to 50 hertz and speed is given that is n 2810 rpm squirrel cage induction motor having an efficiency of 0 0.88 efficiency is given 0 0.88 and full load power factor 0 0.9 that is cos phi is given 0 0.9 Assume specific magnetic loading that is BAV is equal to 0 0.5 Weber per meter square and specific electric loading is 25,000 ampere per meter that is AC is given 25,000 ampere per meter. Take the rotor peripheral speed at ap approximately 20 meter per second that is peripheral speed is given. peripheral speed is 20 meter per second and winding factor is 0 0.955 kw is given 0 0.955 now we will understand first how to solve the problem we know the output equation of induction motor that is q is equal to c0 into d square l n s since we have to find d and l that is main dimensions of motor now the first step is to find q q is rating of motor in kva but in given data the motor output is given in 15 kilowatt that is first we have to convert this to input kva by using the formula q is equal to kw that is motor output divided by efficiency into cos phi this is converted into kva now since kw is given efficiency and power factor is given in the problem now second step is to find output coefficient c0 is equal to 11 bav ac kw into 10 to the power minus 3 11 we know value of specific magnetic loading is given 0 0.5 specific electric loading value is given ac and this kw is winding factor that is 0 0.955 into 10 to the power minus 3 so second step we will get output coefficient third step we have to find this small ns that is synchronous speed in rps here the actual speed is given that is n is equal to 1810 rpm therefore we have to assume the nearest synchronous speed that is nearest synchronous speed is 3000 rpm since n is always less than ns n is actual speed which is given 2810 therefore we will consider synchronous speed is equal to 3000 rpm from this we will get small ns that is synchronous speed in rps that is revolution per second next step is q is equal to c0 into d square l ns now we have the value of q we know the value of c0 we know the value of ns from this we will get the equation d square l is equal to something which is equation number one and lastly we require to find the main dimensions either peripheral speed that is v or l by tau ratio in this problem given peripheral speed that is v is equal to 20 meter per second in this way we have to solve the problem now we will see how to solve the problem now this q is equal to input rating in kva is equal to kw divided by efficiency into cos phi this kw is motor output kw is motor output since it is given 15 kilowatt therefore 15 divided by efficiency into cos phi efficiency is given 0.88 and power factor is 0 0.94 by solving this we will get the values of q is equal to 18.94 kva 
then our next step is second step is find the value of output coefficient that is c0 we know the formula for c0 is 11 bav that is specific electric loading ac is specific electric loading kw is a winding factor into 10 to the power minus 3 now 11 0.5 is specific magnetic loading 0.5 ac is specific electric loading 25000 value of kw is given 0.955 that is winding factor into 10 to the power minus 3 this is equal to 131.3 now our third step is to find small ns that is synchronous speed in rps revolution per second in problem the motor speed n that is actual speed n is given 2810 rpm therefore we assume that nearest synchronous speed is 3000 rpm therefore this is capital ns revolution per minute therefore we have to convert in rps that is revolution per second therefore this 3000 is divided by 60 therefore we will get small ns is equal to 50 rps revolution per second now we know the output equation that is q is equal to c0 into d square l ns we find already find q is equal to 18.94 value of c0 is 131.3 d square l as it is ns is 50 rps from this equation we will get the equation for d square l that is d square l is equal to the value of q is as it is and 131.3 into 50 is divided therefore 18.94 divided by 131.3 into 50 therefore d square l is equal to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube since this diameter square therefore meter square into meter therefore meter cube which is equation number 1 now here the last step is to separate d square l product we require either peripheral speed or L by tau ratio. L by tau ratio is core length to pole pitch ratio. In this problem, given peripheral speed, which is V is equal to pi d n s. This V is peripheral speed, not voltage. Therefore, peripheral speed is given. V is equal to 20 pi as it is. N s 50 rps. Therefore, 50. Here, from this equation, we will get the values of d. That is, diameter of stator d is equal to 20 divided by pi into 50 therefore d is equal to we will get the value of d is 0.127 meter now in this equation we will get the value of d which put or substitute in the above equation that is equation number 1 that is d square l is equal to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 now we have the values of d therefore from this we will get the value of l now we know the relation that is equation 1 d square l is equal to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 which is equation 1. Now put the value of d that is 0 0.127 square into l as it is is equal to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 3. Therefore l is equal to 2.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0.127 square. Hence by solving this we will get the value of l that is L is equal to 0 0.178 meter. In this way, any problem we will solve by these steps. Thank you.